got one out. One roll under ten. One roll. Oh. <laughs> Mauricio has three rolls under ten, but got higher. Yeah. I I did like really average. We are live. <laughs> Statistics is very not correct. Hey guys, welcome to another session of Sigil Storms. Um of Alto standard rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Alto is so oh my <laughs> <laughs> wow! Uh, look at it this way—you got all the bad rules out. <laughs> you know that's not how it works. <laughs> I know that's not how it works. Not a roll twenty, no. <laughs> all right. So last time, everybody finally got out of the book. Finally got out of the pyramid after a big, long duel with Blackmore and a whole mess of demons. You end up back in Ashenport in the Raven's Wing Tavern, in front of a bunch of people you knew. Um. You got a request, or Shiki got a request from a traveling folk who was asking on regards to the Korkin, which they were actually intending to meet. And that request being to produce for them a great deal of guns and other things. And the party at that point had somehow got the very wacky idea to go down to the arena and perhaps try to win a bunch of money to pay for these guns, in addition to other silly things here and there. It was an so, idea. yes. So, gonna drop you back off in the taverns, and oh, uh, so it was late at night. I believe the intention was everyone was to maybe get to sleep. I think so. I All right. Know. All right. So everyone gets to sleep. You wake up in the morning. Things are relatively calm. It's not boiling hot out like it's been most of the other mornings. Um, you're in smooth, nice, soft beds for once instead of sleeping on the ground or a, a sleeping own. bag on sand or a bunch of other very uncomfortable things. You do know that the airship Cloud's Destiny has returned. Um, they made a mention of something that ran into harpies up north, though you haven't really heard any more details on that. Mm -hmm. And at this point, like, you'll come back out. Uh, you'll see, technically at this point, with everyone where they'd want to be, um, verse... Uh, uh, Vesha is working the uh, counter right now, getting breakfast around and prepared for everyone who's waking up. So the party at this point, uh, just just mild discussion in the t in the actual uh, tavern itself. A few people awake here and there. Nothing too substantial. You'll probably you know at some point in the night that the shield golem was taken out back and is left outside for the time being as though they're still trying to figure out exactly how they would use it. Because I believe Shiki gave the control stone to Azul. Yes. Either Azul or Paige. You know which one it was? Gave it to Azul. Alright, so he gave the control stone to Azul. So it's she just has it sitting out back because she's not really sure what to do for it right or do with it right now. It's um great. I don't know, it's collecting dust at home. <laughs> yeah, it really, really was. Collecting dust in holes. Yeah. All right. So, when you all wake up, what's the like? You do know you like the idea of going to the um, looking to go in the arena to win some money, though you don't really know much details about it other than knowing that there is a coliseum in Northbridge, which you could probably go to and try to win money. But none of you have really paid too much attention to Northbridge to really know a lot of the details about it. And the city itself, I feel for the most part, you know, it's a relatively large city. It's down to the south. I'm pretty sure. Uh, go ahead and through, roll. Uh, yeah, pass through Northbridge on her way through. Yeah, go ahead and have everyone roll me. Oh, what is it going to be? Let's see a history check. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a really good roll. On Valanka. <laughs> she has a minus so what... four. All right. Yes. All right, so Valanka's isn't going to count for this, but. Jade knows absolutely nothing. Shiki uh, didn't quite do high enough. Uh, if you don't want to have Philia roll... I'm, I'm pulling up the sheet. All right. That was an amazing roll. All right, Philia doesn't know anything either. So, Yasana, you know a number of details about Northbridge and the town you're going to. You know it's got the big old arena. You could probably, like, to win the money there, that's probably a fair thing to see. Most of you know about the arena at the very least. Yasana, you've also heard various rumors and other things that you're aware that the town is 
if not completely run by, mostly run by an Assassin's Guild. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Well, for now, it's well, if everyone's gathered together, I'm guessing we are. Um, I'm guessing we were just lazy enough to not move our tokens. Um, who said we were Anyways. lazy? <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So everyone's but, gathered up. So. <clears throat> Well, would I know anything about how the arena used to be run or how it is currently? No. Um, with that role being as high as it was, you do know that the arena now is actually very straight laced, considering um how you, who you know the town runs. You know, it has a lot of very specific rules. One of the most important of which is that they are. They go to great lengths to ensure that combatants are not killed in the arena, and that if you do manage to kill an opponent in the arena, the penalties imposed on yourself are very grave, the least of which being you personally will have to fund their resurrection. Oh, All no, right. we're not going to die. <clears throat> so, probably. Cheaply. Probably. There is... <laughs> Also, the, it just the initial arena may be lawful, but guys, come on, it's <laughs> it's it's a not good good town. Assassin guild, <clears throat> right? No, here's how she's gonna word it. Well, I do question your logic of trying to go to such a shady town, Northbridge. At least from one thing I can guarantee is we probably won't get murdered in the arena. Maybe. I'll try not to. Yeah. Forgive me if I do. It seemed like a nice enough time when I was there last time. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of time there, but I was able to find a bow easy enough. Just, just passing through? Yeah. Yeah, I've passed through a few times. Yeah, so what, was it, what was it like when you went? I have um, heard things. It was cold. Azul kind of will think for a moment. It was, well, I, it is run by assassins from what I've heard here and there. That's what I'm the hearing. Town, yeah. I haven't been there back there recently, but most of the people who've walked through have said that the town isn't quite as bad as it once was. Well, you, well you're going to have fun seeing it again. Hmm. Uh. <clears throat> well, also, also, unless also, we also where's the bed? Where's oh. the bear? Where's the bear? Where is the bear? The bear is Where's hiding. Bear. Bear. Fluff. Bear. Fluff. <laughs> I'll go wake her up. Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Vesha will speak at one point. If you are really intending to go to Northbridge to win money, this is probably some of the best time. I've heard some of the travelers come through mention they have a rather large tournament coming up in the near future. Hmm. That sounds well, this... amazingly luckily. That we this is a chance to prove I'm the strongest one in the country? Sure. Uh, perhaps we should so, yeah, uh, head totally. out. Hmm. As, Azul, would you uh, drop the uh, control stone over to uh, Paige before we go? Yeah, Azul will currently just look over to Vesh and give her the stone and ask that she takes it to Paige. I'll leave it to someone else I trust. Alright. And uh, Vesha will nod and she'll head off to uh, Paige's room to hand it off. Is there anything else that we need to do before we leave, Shiki? Well, I was thinking um, we should part. There's a good chance uh, we can have a, quick, have a quick look at the map in the Cloud Destiny, see whereabouts our uh, little underwater, plate, uh, underwater town might be. In theory. We have a few berries on that right now, but... Well, oh, seeing, right. That the ship just, seeing that the ship just uh, landed, we, uh... We're gonna we might get, be able to... We'll we get on there fine. We might be able to use it as a... We had to ride down to Northbridge with it as well. 
Mm, maybe. Depends where it's going. And it's only just touched down. I don't think they're going to send it out just as quick. It's not that far away, is it? To get to where? Northridge. Northridge. No, Northridge isn't that far. It's like a few days travel. Nothing too bad, though. After that yeah, but... uh, very hot desert trip, it would be nice to have a few days to just stretch our legs and be in nice, cooler weather. Hmm. Yeah, great. Well, at the same time, if they would have the ability to Yes, Anna, stop being a lazy boat two and your legs. Two days versus what might be half a day. And who knows? <sighs> Let's just get to the ship before she keeps going on. Yeah. <clears throat> she'll go and continue. As All right, I'll go and continue. <laughs> yeah, and Azul will join. I... Uh... Didn't think this far ahead, did you, boy? Cause Destiny, restore it. Let's see who's on it currently. Oh, I need to delete. Lily. <laughs> Which is to say, everybody actually. Uh. All right, I'm gonna just not have any uh, tokens on it for people currently on the ship. Well, you could just. You, but I am you, gonna throw you guys on it. But I say we just want to check the map anyway. Yeah, it would, I'm gonna. Th eh, I don't need to have you guys in anyway. So you'll go off to uh, to Ashenport itself. You'll see that. A bit off where the uh, Baron's estate is on that lifted rise, you see that they had built a, uh, a dock there. And you all knew about this dock. It was there for a little while. And sitting off on this dock, kind of just hovering right next to his town, is the Cloud's Destiny. Um, very easily, the group is able to head up there, uh, board on the ship itself. There are a few guards just kind of seeing watch it, and they just kind of nod and let you all pass as you go down into the uh, captain's room and you check on the large map, which you know there, this... Uh, magic enchanted map which is made like completely out of various colored sands replicates the world map as you know hmm. um, by this point various Tinker and Shiki has done with it she's found that there are a few various settings she actually keeps the one off that uh, like determined where the god beast location was she yeah. normally keeps that one off though might be able to mess with a few other settings to see if she can't find anything special though you kind of get the feeling that you might need a way to actually seek out a specific target if you're looking for one. Yeah. Hmm. This is a very a... large airship. Do you think that Ashfield is compensating for something? Uh, no. This was built way before him. Hmm. Um, okay. So, am I able to turn on the settings for the sigils? Um, for the various sigils... Because uh, I'm pretty sure there used to be one down here. Yeah, That's what I was thinking of. In the water. Yeah, if you would like to turn that on, go ahead. I will turn that on. Alright, give me a moment. Uh, Alright, so you turn the uh, thing on for the sigils once more, and i got to shrink this down. So you do get one down there again. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember where the other ones are. Of course, one on Ashenport. Actually, that's Northbridge. Northbridge is really close. One on Ashenport, which is like right up on the coast. Mm -hmm. uh, I there was one up here. Hell Tower. Depends if they've been grabbed or not. Room the wall is. was gotten. Um, the what? Uh, for the most part. Oh yeah, there's definitely going to be a number. It does seem to be a rather strong signal, roughly to where you um, heard that uh, Nomi was where the Corkin supposedly were. There's a seemingly strong signal coming from there. Well, uh, that would be that one? The one next to the Red X, yes. Yeah. And you see that there's actually another one which is currently in the middle of the wilderness. That's, uh, that's new. Yes. It has been five years since the last of you have ever really properly checked. So, well, I can tell that this is more over here. I can tell the one in the water. I can tell the one in the water has not moved at all, to my knowledge. Yeah, as far as you can tell, it's in roughly the same spot, though you're not a hundred percent sure. Uh, so, if my theory is right, our uh, 
underwater city we're looking for should be right there. And I point to the one in the water. Azul will kind of perk up and ask, why, why would you think that? He's like, that could just be something that fall, fell into the deeps. Well, either yeah. way, it would be very interesting to check out, would it not? When you... I... Go ahead. No, go ahead. You first. Well, there's also another way we might be able to track it, if this could track based on clues or something along that line. Yeah, mm -hmm. but where would, what kind of clue would you have for tracking it? What if we use my amulet? We might be able to use that some kind of clue regarding... Uh, what did you change your name to? I do not remember. Uh, Pelagia, I believe, is what I'm changing to. By the way, I am... <clears throat> I am half changing the name of the water one because I didn't realize when I was just typing it out what it sounded like when spoken aloud. Yep. <laughs> so I have I've changed it. Those of you who recognize the name, congratulations. If you don't yet, you might recognize it when you see the token. Right. And hmm. Can I can right. I see that for a second? The, yeah. the amulet. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna see if I can if the using the amulet will give me anything for a tracking. All right. Um, go ahead and roll a tinkering check. Okay. It's also a new morning, so I, sh I can get a reroll out of this if I botch it. It's a long day ahead of us. You're threatening your uh, botch a little bit early. <laughs> Play two. Right. Very good. Oh, one off a crit. <laughs> All right. So you, you go in there and you start tinkering around with things. You I do find there is a. Uh, as you shimmy around with it, you manage to get a little sensor thing of sorts to pop out. Blowtorch. A little bit of a pair of focusing crystals. <clears throat> and you hold the uh, the amulet up next to it. And the map seems to shimmer for a bit. It kind of rearranges itself as though, like, waves moving through it. Um, the map itself disappears for a moment before it re uh, renews. And you do see... God damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Stop. Good job. You did it. I did it. I messed up. Good, good. Glad you guys know I messed up. Completely my fault because I. Oh god! Up. I just, I just noticed what you did. <laughs> what I do? You call, refreshed my game. You refreshed. He does that's that like about three times every episode. So. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, it's almost not funny anymore, but it's still hilarious. All right. So, and you do notice that there is another. You see. Another circle appear. Roughly the same location as that one. I think oh, I yes! It. Bang on the money. <laughs> you do notice the map seems to be continuously shifting and turning as though it's trying to determine other locations. But nothing's really coming up. Hmm. Do you mean we can uh, put anything on this map and it would show us location of that thing? In, I, I, have to, I have to tinker around with it a bit and... Uh... Not saying, not saying it, it doesn't have its wrist to it. What, I, you got something? Not at the moment. I but, think well, this amulet's a unique case as well. It was passed down in my family from God knows how you, long ago. You never know. It's, it's a weird machine. Well, considering now that we know what this symbol on the amulet means, it's possibly related to something regarding that place. By the uh, way, by yeah. the way, Shiki, roll a deck save. Oh, crap. By the way, it seems that we're just fated to head to this place. And deck save. Uh... You fail your deck save. So as you're discussing this all around, you don't notice as the map seems to kind of compress together a little bit. And a shot of sand streaks up and it impales you through the back of your shoulder. This is a very strange and painful sensation as it kind of grits through you and you kind of re uh, recall away from it. You take, a, say, t uh, 13 bludgeon damage. No, that'd be piercing, technically. 13 yeah. piercing damage. And as you look back, you see that the map has kind of completely gotten rid of the mark of where that was. And the sand slowly returns to normal and how it's supposed to be. A bit of, well, outside of a bit of blood dripping onto it now. Uh who did you say this was made by? <laughs> Feel free to roll Arcana, anyone. I'm going to roll that Arcana. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm going to roll Arcana while in shock. 
Well, you know that what? Why was not? Not um, expected. <laughs> definitely <laughs> not expected. Uh, definitely I, not. I kind of want to see Fluffy Crit right now. I really want to see Fluffy Crit. I don't think uh, I've ever seen a map pierce somebody before. The, the, uh, God, the only maybe. time that the only time that happens is when it's not actually <laughs> it rolling for me up. for some reason. Very strange. I'm used to explosions, not magical sand attacking me. Anyway, uh, Shiki and Yasana don't get high enough for this. But Jade, you get the feeling that was less so the map attacking Shiki as it was the target of the... Uh, like, it seems to be some kind of divination effect, and whoever was being searched for by it realized and struck back. I've heard of some magics where if you if you peer into their destiny they can know about it it seems like this one may have uh, fought ow, back ow, a little ow, bit ow, 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 ow. are you okay? oh wow that is mm. major lag wow wow may one that, that is there's going to be a couple more probably popping up at some point because <laughs> I just started clicking like is it not working Click, 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 click. Wow. It, that, that is some major, major lag. By the way, all of these were clicked before I even said anything. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, do we take the 19? Major <laughs> lag. Great axe. So, you, did you cut the you, table in half? No, I was just clicking different ones to see if it was, well, was it just this one <laughs> skill? Was it the skill she? I would refresh, Alto. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and refresh. You're going to need it. Yeah. In the meantime. But yeah, would would I know about the scry spell? Um, I feel with your uh, feel uh with common. your affinity for like a fortune telling and stuff, you do know a like a decent bit about various divination techniques, including the scry spell. Right. So yeah, I'll I'll just mention that the scry spell um is a thing that exists, and that people who don't want to be scryed on or people who know about their whereabouts have ways to protect themselves from it. And this right. might have been something similar. Great, now we that, gotta get now we gotta get ourselves set for underwater underwater uh, underwater a lot quicker. That being said, we did hear originally from that Lamia that the amulet was linked to one of the three gods. You could say. Yep. Yep, so that could be one of the three. Uh, by the way, Shiki, are you okay? Do you need Azul at this point has been using her bardic training to cure Shiki's wound. <laughs> just, just, just a little pain. Yeah, so Azul has already kind of moved up and used her cure wounds to help alleviate Shiki's pain. Uh, well, I mean, not to stick any amulets in the map anymore. Never thought the map would attack. That's that one went <laughs> above my head there. I'm, I'm used, I'm used to stuff exploding on me, not stabbing me. <laughs> Who we'll made this map prepared for an attack from anything? <laughs> uh, like I kind of wanted, sh I kind of wanted Feely to get that because Feely would have just got the feelings like something didn't want to be seen and it attacked. Well. <laughs> so what we need to do is attack the map. <laughs> so, don't. It's one of a kind. So who made the map again? Arashi. The wolf. The wolf. Maybe Arashi didn't want to be found. Or the two are at odds. And it picked up as Rashi. Oh, uh, oh, I just, oh, I just didn't want to get seen at all. But one thing you said, Shiki, fills me with a little bit of concern. We probably ought to head on to our next destination as fast as possible, so we Indeed. can go swimming. Yes. <laughs> and we should probably look at that. I'll be okay, but. We need to ensure other people are. And put back our amulet. Yeah, and like you notice, like, when the sand actually attacked, the marking for where she supposedly was had vanished. Yeah. But we have another mark there, so it doesn't matter for us much. I'm going to click a skill to make sure my sheet's working. Okay. Yay. Yay. It's slightly laggy, but not as, like, three minutes bad as the other one was. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So I, I suppose we best start heading out. Yeah. Uh, while the um while you're about to head out and head off the ship, one of the guards stops you for a moment. 
So, uh, did they ever talk to you about the harpies you ran into? Uh, somewhere up north? Yeah. We were kind of helping. We received a message after the uh, thing with... I've already forgotten her name. I have her name written down. Give me a moment. Pardon about me. the issue with... Guard. Sorry. On a scale of yes. 1 to 10, how important is the harpy issue? Hmm. Let him finish. What would you say to an issue when there are about three dozen harpies, some of them flying around in full armor? Huh, that, now that's, uh, that's, they can fly that's, in full that's, armor? That's, that's a bit of an organized uh, group. Yeah, I'd say about seven, seven and eight. Yeah. They didn't seem ex intensely hostile, though they were following a storm as it headed north. Uh, are they going somewhere, towards... Are they going somewhere, towards... Any, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, they were going somewhere towards the uh, Fellstone Mountains. <laughs> are they going towards any populated cities that we should know about? Uh, hard to say, but if the storm turns, who knows where it goes. And they, were they heading... fly, so they can go anywhere they want. God Except damn. they were heading north? Uh, yes. Fellstone Mountain. Where were you? Way up there. Where on the map were you at the time? Uh, we were crossing over the fell lands. We had just come back from Blackstone. Guys, it's um. Oh. Hmm. This also this also makes uh. Remember our uh, crash pilot a couple day a couple weeks back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, we were actually keeping an eye on it because of her. When not only reported about all seeing the various harpies. She depicted that these the leaders seemed to be her wings were completely golden, and from what we could see from the distance we were at, the one leading this group was also golden winged. Golden harpy. Now this this might put it up to an eight. Would it be a? Uh, I think it would be advisable if you kept an eye on it. We have some very important business to take care of down in Northbridge, um, and mm, then we, we we'll get back to this, I believe. Maybe we should put off the Northbridge stuff. I swear to fucking god. <laughs> yeah, I swear to god. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you said it is a great be mo I, 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 I understand the it. logic of it, but I have nothing set up. If you, if you put it off, then I have nothing. <laughs> That's why you said the soldiers tell us after Northbridge Silver. <laughs> Uh, so at, at this point, she, at this point, Shiki pulls out like a notebook, just like draws a circle, North North Bridge Arena, like in the middle, and then she does like more, like a few lines going off with underwater underwater adventure, set his, kept being con being con artists, and then and then Gold Harpy, it's like oh guys, we got like three we got three issues here. I I think that we should just take these one at a time. We're right next to North Bridge. Just makes sense. We got we're Northbridge. Um, I got the contact for the guns. Gun sale is uh, in Northbridge, so we can do that after the arena stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, if if they're not that pressed for the weapons, we could possibly put that off. It gives me more time to make them. Plus, we could have to come back here if I want to make them properly. Plus, we could possibly plus. we could possibly finish up the harpies in the north, do the gun sales. Then actually, hmm. Plus, who we're, are, we're, it's, it's, are you? Going are you sure you want to make? False weapons. Yeah. It just seems like feels wrong. No. Um. Would you? You. You. You're basically gonna get. You. You know how bad orcs are from the stories. Now. Now give super orcs enough firepower to take down. Take down the the mightiest of all dwarven walls. Okay. Would you? Would you? Would you love to do that? Or Wouldn't would you it calm them? Put a whole bunch of little tiny holes in the dwarven walls. Not if they want a cannon. But you're not making a cannon. Yeah, they, they only want. They, they want a cannon. Oh. Ah. Look, 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 look we'll across the bridge when we come to it. I, I'm just saying, it look, doesn't I'm, feel like I'm, it's gonna end very well. Giving them fake weapons that look, blow up look, on them if they survive. Yeah, well, they're up there for the distraction. <coughs> I've, I've got a plan. Well, although I I completely agree with you that it would end poorly for somebody if the weapons blew up in their face, especially if you were there. I think it would also end poorly for someone if we gave them real weapons. Yeah, it were actually, it's actually better giving them fake weapons because then there's a good chance they won't have a proper weapon to fight with. 
So instead of just refusing the deal, yes, we're yes, going to end up with a fox fur coat, regardless. Yes, yes, yes Sana, 